My name is Mike Kinger and I'm here with Jim Hackenberg, the creator of the Orange Whip Trainer and the Orange Peel. And today we want to talk to Jim about why he invented it and how it works and how they work together to help your game. So now you invented the, the Orange Whip first, correct? To help uh, the arm swing and the body rotation? Well, just to synchronize the arms and body, to make the motion athletic, to make it simple. Something you can do at home, you can do before you go to work, do it at the end of the evening. Just a simple device to use to train the body. And it's more than a, a lot of people, it's a great warm-up tool and it stretches and strengthens and all that stuff, but it's more than that too, isn't it? Sure, absolutely. I mean, obviously I developed it to help the golf swing, but we, because of its design, because of its weight, because of the way you use it, you're going to get a workout. You're going to get a great stretch. You're going, to, uh, you're going to find that tempo that is easy to reproduce and hit consistent golf shots. But you know, you have a, unique to everything else, you have a counterweight and a weighting system that's different. Explain that. Because the flexible shaft is such that when you're swinging it back and forth, by properly weighting the device, which means making it equally balanced, when you're swinging that back and forth, that is what's going to put you on the proper swing plane. As you swing back and forth in a rhythm, the counterbalance will work with the, uh, the, the weight on, the, on the, the head end of it. And as you're swinging it, it'll find the proper plane, you'll find a proper rhythm, it'll be very balanced. And, you know, as a, as a golf professional myself, I look at it, if you swing it correctly, I mean, it can give you a one-piece takeaway. And what other things I'll do, it gets loaded at the top. It gets you, like you said, it gets your hands and arms to come down and sink with your body, which some people would refer to the leg or the slot or all that kind of stuff. Why, why don't you show us how, how you should start swinging it? And then we'll go into the orange peel. I like to get settled into a normal address position, hover it above the ground. I'm going to start very slowly swinging back and forth, almost like a big putting stroke letting the length of the swing continue to grow each motion back and forth. Allow my wrist to hinge naturally. Once I get it going, I can increase the pace, never at the cost of my balance. So let me interrupt. One thing that you said that's really important is it's, it's like a, a big putting stroke. So that, you know, the golf swing really is an extension of a putting stroke. <laughs> so when he's starting, as a, as a little putting stroke and a bigger putting stroke, I think that's really key to help you with the putting. Now explain the orange peel here and what that does. The surface that I'm standing on is a concave deck. It's a stable platform, but when you're standing on the top of the deck, you get this, the surface area is just like the bottom of a sphere. What that's doing is it's setting my feet inwards so I can feel the tension in the in inner part of my legs, my hips engage, it basically helps to put me into an athletic position that when I start swinging, I can create a very athletic rotary motion. Let me demonstrate. As I start swinging and build up my motion, eventually my feet and lower body need to really take part in this activity. By standing at the bottom of the sphere, it makes it easy for me to stay balanced above my lower body. Through repetitions, I find the most effective way to make a powerful golf swing consistently. And, and even though you're, you're kind of in a sphere, you're still shifting your weight, but it's the right amount, right? Absolutely correct. We can also use the orange peel to create different lies that you may find on the golf course. If I reposition my feet to the left, I've now created an uphill lot. Very good to practice because it's difficult to make a full follow through on an uphill lot. If I continue this, and I'm able to get comfortable swinging on an uphill line. I can then reposition my feet, create a downhill line. If I move my feet forward of the white line, my toes have raised up, my center of gravity has fallen back, it'll be easy to flatten my swing plane. Conversely, if I move to the back, my heels have raised up, toes gone down, I will get a little more tilted over. It's as if the ball is below my feet. All of these lie angles are great to practice because if you have balance on all of these, on the golf course, you will have no difficulty. Maybe we could get the camera over here and show Jim down the line because something very unique to these products is that they're target-oriented products. You know, a lot of things make you focus on the golf ball, which I think is 
one of the worst things in the world to do in golf is a golf instructor. You know, pull your head down and focus there. The, the orange whip and the orange peel gets you to focus on the target. Would you agree with that? Yes, very much. You're swinging them, you're keeping emotion going for the target. Yes. And uh, also, why don't you show us the, the chip, the chipping deal? Place the foot in the hole. Place your right foot or your back foot high up on the wall. Get a pitching wedge or, or any short iron that you would use for chipping. Get the weight on the left side and go ahead and make that chipping motion that allows your body to follow through with the shot. And that's important because if you keep your weight on your left side and what that promotes is that your angle is going to be correct when you're, when you're chipping. You know, a lot of people when they chip kind of try to help the ball up and that's why they, they hit four shots. Do you agree with that? Yes, I would. And uh, also, let's just talk about one thing, <clears throat> you know, with the orange peel is that it, it really promotes coil and the correct amount of shift. Say, you know, most, most people, it looks easy, but it's not. Most people, when they get on here, would you say they kind of you have to train them a little bit? Because they struggle, they stand their back foot. Well, it's an awkward sensation, but that's okay. I mean, if you start slow and build up to it, your body and your feet will, jet, will figure out the best, the optimal way to, to make this motion. So through a little practice and through a little trial and error, the user will find the easiest way to make this work best for their game. Right, so I mean, what I'm saying is that it is strengthening you. It is, it, you are working your muscles and working your core and your legs. And yes, absolutely. Well, here we are. Well, Jim Hackenberg and Mike Hingsworth from the PGA Show 2012 in Orlando. Thank you.